What's going on everybody? It's Ash here with the iPhone Chipster. Today we're going to be talking about the brand new Mac OS X Mountain Lion. Uh, so this is the next um, release of Mac OS X next to uh, OS 10.7, the uh, OS 10.8 um, and it is Mountain Lion and, and it basically uh, integrates with your iOS devices whether it's an iPad or an iPhone or an iPod Touch uh, like never before uh, to be honest with you um, so let's go let's go over the features uh, so let's click on learn more here um, so you obviously have iCloud so you could um, you know basically sync all your documents um, on your apps and things like that from your various Macs or from your iPhone and iPod or whatever um, you can have your documents in the cloud uh, obviously um, and the new thing is uh, messages um, so uh, this is basically the iMessage um, so you can basically um, you know get free text messaging uh, from your iPhone to your Mac uh, from your Mac to iPhone or to your iPad or whatever um, and uh, this uh, this is really nice and uh, I'm happy that Apple uh, basically implements this iMessage, you know, kind of the idea um, to the, um, basically, um, the Mac. Uh, so I think that's pretty awesome. Um, and then you have reminders, just like on the iPhone, which is a really great application on the iPhone. And I'm glad that they're implementing this on the Mac. Um, and uh, this also syncs with your iPhone and iPod and uh, this is really going to be great uh, as far as I'm concerned and there there's a notes application uh, for the Mac which is also brand new obviously um, um, so you could basically it's just like using on an iPad or whatever for that matter um, it's really nice you can create your new note you know um, have, have your content and you can also have photos which is really nice uh, you can have photos on this you can have attachments and things like that um, so you can uh, just you know note something and uh, have a picture of what you're noting so basically if you're putting some recipe of a chocolate chip just uh, ch uh, uh, just like they're showing here um, and you want, want to put the picture uh, of the chocolate chip you could basically just uh, drag it from your desktop or whatever folder it is in uh, to it and it is really nice as far as I'm concerned and and also you could basically just uh, make the make any note uh, basically which you create as a um, widget and drag it over to your desktop so you can you know basically take a look at that whenever you want to and the next is notification center again this is pretty awesome as far as I'm concerned um, um, actually it basically just um, look at this notification center it basically just looks like how it is on the iPhone or the iPad for that matter um, so as you can tell it is at the right hand side um, of the screen of the Mac um, and uh, it shows all your events your calendar events your app store uh, update or your OS 10 update or your messages your FaceTime and uh, all the things like that and it is just pretty awesome um, I think this is also a really nice feature and you also do have this new share sheets um, where you could basically share your web pages or whatever um, to through Twitter or message uh, iMessage um, and uh, you can also add it to your reading list of course you can also add it to your bookmark just like before but uh, this just adds a little bit more options like emailing the p web page um you know message i'm messaging it and uh, twitter and all that part of the matter and you also have this sh um share thing on the photo booth um so you have a new share option here where you could you know share to email i message twitter airdrop uh, which is kind of nice Flickr. you can add it to iphoto um, you can set body picture, you can set account picture just like before, but now you could um, basically you could um, change your Twitter profile picture just like so. Um, and I think this is also a really nice feature. And you also do have a deep Twitter integration just like on the iPhone or the iPad. 
Um, so basically, uh, you could tweet right from your app. So if you are at the web browser and uh, you feel that the website is really awesome and you want to, you know, basically tweet it out uh, to your friends or whatever, your friends or followers or whatever. Um, so you could just uh, press uh, the share button um, and press tweet and uh, you'll get this familiar uh, uh, if you have used the iPhone or iPad uh, familiar to tweet um, box over here so you could basically just type in the text and hit send and you can even add your location um, and uh, uh, which is kind of nice and you also do have game center on the mountain lion OS 10.8 um, so, you know, Mac gets into the game and it is pretty awesome. Uh, so basically you could challenge your friends with another Mac. Um, so basically if you're playing Real Racing 2 or Angry Birds, um, you could basically challenge with your friends. And uh, this is uh, pretty amazing uh, as far as I'm concerned. And next you have what I feel is the biggest feature here is that AirPlay mirroring is now implemented on the Mac. It was actually there on the iPad and the iPhone 4S uh, up until this point. Um, so you could basically, if you have an Apple TV second generation, uh, you could basically um, just get into your multitasking bar, swipe left and press on the AirPlay button and click on your Apple TV, then click and then turn on the mirroring. And basically what you're seeing on the iPhone or iPad is directly um, streamed to the Apple TV and basically displayed on the television, which is kind of nice. And uh, uh, it is being implemented on the Mac. So basically, you take your Mac and uh, turn on the AirPlay mirroring thing, and uh, you could basically, you know, appear uh, on the TV. And it is kind of nice. And this works with um, keynote presentations. You know, if you, if you just made a quick edit on iMovie, you could basically show it off on the big screen. Um, so uh, I think that's pretty awesome. And you have Gatekeeper, uh, which is also a new um, feature, which basically uh, adds some um, security to your Mac, and uh, uh, that's kind of nice. Uh, um, you know, um, the next is uh, that uh, these have all new features for China. So uh, if you're in China and um, if you use a Mac. Uh, you have some whole lot of new options, I guess. I, I'm not really sure about this. Um, you know, so uh, I'm not really sure about this. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's that. And actually, you could download um, uh, the iMessage app. It's actually available as a beta. And I'm really going to download that and make a review for you guys. And you can also download the developer preview of OS X Martin Lion. And if you are a developer, of course... And uh, try it out, and I think I'm also going to do that uh, and make a review for you guys. Uh, so pretty much, yeah, that that's my OS and Mountain Lion, and I'm really excited about this brand new release, and I uh, hope you are as well. Uh, thanks for watching, rate, comment, uh, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. Now, see you guys next time.